Good morning with the students. I hope you are doing fine, staying safe at home and studying properly. So today in this video we will discuss our next topic which is article writing. The writing of an article or speech is a difficult task but the student can master the art by practice. It is a creative experience of the writer wherein he gives his personal ideas or findings in research on the topics of social interest. These may include description of events, actions, places and people. Articles are mainly written for newspapers or magazines. It involves a high degree of creativity, a wide range of vocabulary, a thorough knowledge of the source subject, some research and a lot of organizational abilities. In addition, one has to keep in mind the target readers, the purpose of writing the article, as well as an appropriate style. Finally, article requires a lot of correction and revision before it can be called a well-written one. Now let's talk about the format of article writing. So first of all, we have to give an article a proper title and a title should be of five to six words but there are no hard and fast rules. The title can be a single word, a phrase or even a sentence. Then we have to start with the introduction of the text which includes the body. An article must have highly structural and directional body. Structural means that it has a distinct beginning, a middle and a conclusion. And directional means all the words, sentences and paragraphs lead to the objective for which the author is writing in it. Then we have to discuss the purpose of writing. All the writing tasks have a specific purpose. Before writing an article, be sure of its purpose. The clarity of purpose will ensure clarity in the choice of style, tone and language. Then we have to grab the reader's uh, attention and we have to target the audience. As in the writer of an article should be clear as to who will or should be his potential readers or audience. He should be clear if he is writing for general public, a particular group of people or students or teachers. He should know if his article is meant for a magazine or a newspaper. Then comes the style. It is not possible to say which particular style is suitable to which particular type of article. However, the student should try to adopt a simple uh, narrative style. We must be particularly careful about the correct use of grammar. We should use short sentences and should not repeat words unnecessarily. A variety of words relating to the topic in a natural style sounds much better. The next point is research and planning. In order to write an article on a particular topic, you need information, facts, figures, data as per the requirement. Such information can be easily collected from newspapers, magazines and websites. A student who does his her research well will never fall short of points. Next, you have to plan uh, what ideas or points are to be included in which paragraph and how much and where to add a quotation, where to ask a question and so on. It should include opinion, comments, recommendations, criticism and call for action. Now the last part is the conclusion where we have to conclude with a suggestion, hope, a warning or an appeal. Now let's discuss uh, how to make it impressive, how we can make the articles impressive. So the first point is keep it simple. Don't use uh, ornamented and complicated words or sentences. Use simple sentences. Highlight your main points. Keep it very clean and clear. And yes, strictly follow a word limit. Do not make it very lengthy because that can make your article boring. So strictly follow the points to make your article look attractive. Now let's discuss one article. It is often reported that people lose temper for every small things while driving on roads. Write an article on it. So we'll start with the title Road Rage written by Harpreet Singh. You have to mention your name as well. Then you will start with the introduction opening uh, followed by the development of the topic. You will go in details and then you will end your article with the conclusion. Students, I would really recommend you all to read all the articles that were published by our school e-newspaper. 
and and many of you have also written the article so you should prefer reading it again you will enjoy it and you should take it as an example and i'm sure that will help you understand this topic so students this was all about this topic we'll meet in the next video with another topic till then take care bye bye